running late again. I don't like it when we're running late. But also, do you see this ice on the window? <sighs> what? You know why? Why? I went to pay my window and you're messing it up. The ice on your window? Yeah. I didn't do anything to it. Did well, you? Well, you don't let me do it. Did you want me to scrape it? Or did you want to scrape it? Mm. I don't know if we can do that, bud. So on days like today, where I had to work late because Sometimes that's just what you have to do. Um, it reminds me that there's a phrase, it takes a village to raise kids. I know that very much was the case, but in my opinion, it still very much is the case. Um, back in the day when, you know, there were definitely roles and responsibilities for, you know, the parents, the grandparents, the aunts and uncles. You know, it really did take a number of people to ensure that a kid was cared for, looked after, and all that. I still think that's the case. The problem is we live in a society where people tend to isolate themselves. I know myself, if it wasn't for, you know, the family that we have living around us, that raising our kids would be a bit more difficult. You know, we, both my wife and I work, I work from home, so one would imagine that, oh, well, you know, if, if the kids have to stay home or whatever, it's very easy for you to watch them since you're working from home. And while sometimes that's true, like we don't have to miss work, it's harder to do the work I have to do in a day when I'm having to also take care of my kids. You know, my son goes to daycare, my daughter's in school, and they're taken care of for eight hours a day. Now, granted, school isn't necessarily that long, and we actually do an early pickup from daycare, but those six hours we get is huge. It allows me to focus on work. I know they're safe. And then my daughter, she gets picked up by uh, my wife's cousin every day and taken to my wife's grandmother every day. Except for two days when it's Mimi and Opa days. Um, but even that, like if I were to look at the number of people who are involved in our kid's life on a consistent basis, I feel lucky. It's not just all on me and my wife. It's not just all on me and my wife and, you know, the grandparents. The aunts, the uncles, the cousins, the great-grandparents. We have a lot to be thankful for. I was just feeling that today because I picked up the kids from, well, picked up my son from daycare and dropped him off at my wife's grandmother's house. And we're taking over some dinner tonight. Gonna have some barbecue with Mallory's grandmother, who's spunky. And uh, we're gonna have some dinner. Just a little way of saying thanks for all you do. I think it's important to remember that not everything we have is because of something we did, but because of the support we had around us while we were trying to do that. I think it's important to remember those people. But anyways, I was just feeling that today. thought I'd share it. Um, this isn't a, 
you know, be thankful for what you have type of video, but maybe say thanks to the person that helps you in ways that may seem small, but really do make a big difference. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Thank you.